Magandang Umaga from Mati, Davao Oriental. We have arrived here from Davao City. However, we will tell you how we got here in Mati later. But look at where we are staying, guys. It's literally like paradise. Yeah, we decided to treat ourselves and go for a nice resort as we've been in the city quite a lot mm. and we just wanted to stay somewhere really nice, relax. Yesterday, all we did was chill out and we've got an amazing pool. We're right by the beach. So we're staying at Sheepy's Surfside Resort and it's around 4K pesos per night for two people, but it's worth it. It's so, so nice. I just feel so at one yeah. with nature. But today is the day to explore. We will show you Sheepy's later during the video. However, we're gonna go to our first stop which is a viewpoint. Mm -hmm. So, ta-da, ta-da, let's go. So after a beautiful, windy coastal road, we have made it to the sleeping dinosaur and my oh my, so beautiful, I wasn't expecting this. Wow. wow, it looks incredible. I'm just gonna have to show you, here comes the drone. So the main viewing point for the sleeping dinosaur is actually closed. I'm not sure if it's damaged by the recent earthquake that happened here in Mati. However, we are here on the side of the road. There's actually a little coffee shop with some tourist information. And yeah, the view is just beautiful, guys. The water is so blue. Um, it's, the wind is not that strong as well. And yeah, the island actually looks like a sleeping dinosaur. Yeah, and it's just so nice to look out see the ocean and there's all these different shades of blue mm. like it's not all the same like you've got the dark blue you've got light blue you've got almost like a green uh, you can see the rocks it's that clear and then you've got all this greenery in front of us and then obviously all the islands are just mm. covered in coconut trees as just, well just look at that wow the camera just doesn't do it justice guys but I'm telling you the water is crystal blue so nice wow and actually that island legit looks like a dinosaur mm. it really does like the arm the head <laughs> <laughs> So to get around Matty, we decided to rent a motorbike. We're paying 400 pesos per 12 hours. If you want it for 24 hours, it's 800 pesos. Uh, they even dropped it off for us for a small fee, which was perfect. And yeah, I'm super excited to explore the rest of Matty. It's been so, so beautiful driving around. It's kind of giving me Shargao vibes. It's super laid back. There are so many coconut trees. Like I didn't think anywhere would give me that same feeling as when I first arrived in Chargao and just being amazed by the amount of coconut trees. But I got that same feeling here driving around Matty. So I'm glad to have experienced that feeling again of just feeling in awe, honestly in awe. It's really, really beautiful. And everywhere is just so chilled. So that was a lovely quick stop. The sleeping dinosaur is absolutely beautiful. You definitely should come here. But anyway, we're gonna head over to our next stop, which is gonna be a cafe. We're actually gonna go to where our friends went, Alex and Chino, a couple months ago. So I'll leave the channel on the description down below. So make sure to check that out. They did a very nice Matty vlog. So yeah, we're hungry. You're hungry, Zoe's hungry, everyone's hungry. Let's go and eat. Alright guys, so we have arrived at Lanis Kalapiahan, which is a very nice cafe and we ordered some food. So I think Zoe's got a pasta, I've got a burger and some coffee and Zoe's got her typical Coke Zero. And we are at beach front. I think that is Dahican Beach. I'm not sure, Zoe's just double checking. But yeah, this place is actually quite chill. You can sit outside here and you can even sit inside and there's like aircon and there is also a pool. However, there is a entrance fee which is 150 pesos for adults and 100 pesos for kids and it's consumable which is good. Ah, but anyway, I'm hungry. Let's eat.
Okay, so our food is here. Just look at that. This is only 100 pesos and I have got my iced white mocha. Mm. And Zoe's got her pasta here, which is quite a very big portion actually. And it's only 160 pesos. And guys, the best thing is we're eating with an amazing view. All right, guys, so that food was amazing. That was actually a very nice coffee as well. It was really good prices as mm. well, like really good, like 100 for a burger and chips and 160 for the pasta. Really, really good. Really good. And it's really nice here, guys. The pool is amazing and the beach is stunning. Just look at that. Oh, so this is actually Dahikan Beach, guys, and they are known for their white soft sand. And yeah, just look at that. Even though it's windy, it's still nice. Yeah, and the sand is nice. super soft. It's white and it's pretty clean. Like mm. it's not, there's a little bit of rubbish here and there, but it's really not that bad. It's really nice. So many coconut trees. Oh, if we ever come back, I'd want to stay here next yeah. time. But anyway, guys, we're probably going to start walking towards the Hican Surf Resort and the yeah, end. So we're probably going to chill there. The water there is a different kind of blue. It's like a cloudy Gatorade. Yeah, so we can't wait to go and see it. Hopefully the sun comes back out so we can see it in all its glory and show you guys. Because even from here, I can see that it's a completely different shade to here. But we were actually there yesterday. We literally just chilled, had some lunch and just walked around the beach, to be honest. But this time we're gonna show you how amazing the Hican Beach look. Let's go. So after a 10 minute walk, we have made it to Dahican Surf Resort. Now it is definitely worth paying the entrance fee at the resort that we had lunch at, eating there and then walking to Dahican Surf Resort. Because if you come in through this resort, you have to pay 190 pesos entrance fee, but that is not consumable. So if you do the resort that we did, it's 150 consumables to eat there and then walk down here, works out way cheaper. But we've ended up sitting at the resort anyway to just get a mango graham shake and it has arrived and it was 180 pesos. Let's do a taste test. Mmm, it's really good guys. And just look at this view. Look how blue the water is. Incredible. So the Hican Beach is actually famous for its white sand beach, gatorade colored water and its skimboarding. You can also surf here because the wave is actually quite strong. However, you can still swim, which we're going to do later after this mango graham shake. Mm. But yeah, guys, you can do a lot of activities here at this resort. You can go kayaking, you can go surfing, get some skimboard lessons everything they've also got their own shop you can actually stay here guys and it's only 2,000 pesos for a room and it's right on the main beach here in Mati this place is honestly just stunning though guys it's so peaceful so relaxed so chilled everything just feels so laid back like it's honestly such a vibe this is definitely Shargao 2.0 <sighs> so nice I want to come back already. Mm. I feel like you need like a week here, but not because there's loads of activities, but just to truly unwind and really experience it. There's also a lot more things to do in Davao Oriental. There's also a place called Benanga, which has a lot of things to do and I'd love to explore it, but we just don't have enough time. I definitely think Davao Oriental has a lot to offer and you need a lot of time if you want to do it all because it's quite a big place but that is something for the future because now we know that we really like it and this is a really amazing area that we have to come back and explore
Guys, just look at the water. Oh my gulai. Wow. It's so blue. It's look like at this. the lightest blue color water I've ever seen. It's like milky. Oh, look at that. There's actually quite a lot of people here, especially kids, skimboarding. And yeah, at least the sun is finally out. Oh. Wow. Ah, I think we're gonna have to jump in. Yeah, it's like the most beautiful blue, guys. It's so light. It's like literally what they call sky blue, mm. right? Wow, it's the only place in the world where I've seen this color of blue, honestly. So milky, ah. Oh. It's like Calaguas, no? Similar to Calaguas, but I feel like this is lighter. Look at that. I'm just gonna have to show you. The camera just doesn't do it justice. Wow. Woo. All right, guys, let's go and swim. The sand is actually so soft. Just look at that. Wow. We've got to time this well so we don't get like attacked by the waves. They're pretty strong. We've got to time it well. Look at that. Look, look. Oh, look at that. Oh. Okay, 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 look how blue the water is, guys. Oh my god. Oh, that's a big one. You just have to. A <laughs> body slammed that. Wow. Oh my god, look at this water. Wow. It's quite shallow. Yeah. Oh, but guys, the wave. Oh my god. But guys, the wave is so strong. Look at this big one here. Oh, my wow. hair's wet. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh! 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 Bloody hell! Oh! Oh guys, the color of the water! Oh my god, look how milky that looks! Oh! I'm lucky drowning! It's actually really shallow! It's very shallow, but like when the wave comes, because it's so big, oh, it feels like you're drowning! Oh my god. And the water temperature as well, it's not that cold. It's actually quite warm. I feel like we're in a, it feels like a swimming pool, not yeah. the sea. Like that's how blue it is. And it's so clear. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's such a vibe here. Zoe's doing a little bit of shopping because she saw the t-shirt and she was like, oh, I want that. So, yeah, this place, man. Come to the Hagen Beach Resort. All right, guys, so Dahican Beach has been such a vibe. Zoe ended up buying a t-shirt for 650 pesos. Not too bad. It's not bad, not bad at all. Especially like for like a very specific shirt you know it's like mm. a merch isn't it Matthew <laughs> merch it's a bit sad because there is a little bit of rubbish on the beach but it does seem like they have people going around mm. picking it up but not the whole way down the beach just in specific areas and I don't think it's people here dropping rubbish I think each night as the tide comes in it brings a load of rubbish from somewhere else which is such a shame because it's so beautiful but it's not too much it's not just little much, bits no. here and there and there's certain patches of the beach that are worse than others uh, but I can definitely see this becoming a tourist hotspot in the future, both between Filipinos and foreigners. I think this is really like a smaller version of Shargao. For definite. Yeah, it's literally a mix of Shargao and La Union. Yeah, I get it. Like it meets in the middle. Yeah. Like, yeah, because Shargao's got a bit more of a surfer vibe. This is more of a laid back vibe, but still has that small surf vibe with the skim surfers, you know? <laughs> it's not like Shargo's a, a sir, dude, but yeah. this one's like, sir, dude. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but anyway, we're gonna start heading off to Sheepies and then we'll show you where we are staying. Oh my God, my hair. But anyway guys, we have arrived back at our resort. Look at that. Wow, and then the sun is just starting to set. What do you think of uh, Matty so far, babe? I think that in a few years time, this could be like a hotspot. Yeah, For tourism I agree. in general, because like, I hope, like obviously, I don't want it to be like flooded with tourists, but I think it would definitely become mm. more and more popular. It's got so much potential. And especially as like, this is just Dahican, right? There's still loads There's still more to loads do more. around other parts of Davao Oriental that even we haven't yet <laughs> to explore. Uh, but it would be so good to see it become a little bit more developed. Yeah. It already looks like it's getting more developed. Like we just saw a restaurant which we're going to eat for dinner and we were like, that's literally like Bravo in Chargao. Mm. Like there's so many similarities, right? Um, and like, it really reminds me of the first time me and Zoe went to Chargao back in 2018. Mm. Yeah, like it was empty when we went to Chargao. Chargao wasn't like, like it wasn't that popular back then. Yeah, it was just becoming popular. Yeah, it was just becoming popular. And then the next year when we came back, it was just packed. And I also think that if it wasn't for Mindanao not necessarily being a place that is promoted much mm. and isn't advised to go to quite often and that, I think that's genuinely the only reason that this place isn't more covered, more gone to and things like that mm. and I think in the future as time goes on I think it will become a hot spot more and more popular yeah. as more people travel to Mindanao from all around the world. That at the moment it's just the locals back in Davao city coming here as like their little uh, getaway yeah. from the city. It's quite a popular destination from from Davao city. Same as Samao Island mm. which we were recently at. Very very popular places and I can see why because it's like an escape. And the resorts here are really good yeah, as well. Like, so nice. This one's perfect. I mean, we treated ourselves. This is 4K per night, which normally is not our budget. Our budget is normally like one, two yeah. per <laughs> night. Um, but we just really wanted to enjoy and just to be relax. honest, this would be way more expensive than another island. Oh yeah. I think like in the future, if this place, if Matty blows up, all the resort is just going to triple yeah. all the price. It's the same in Chargao, like all the resort in Chargao is quite expensive now. Same in Bali, like back then Bali wasn't really that expensive, but right now because it's a tourist hotspot, it is so expensive. Alright guys, we had a great sunset just chilling at the resort, but we are now here at Bawood to have dinner. This place is such a vibe, like I love the style, I love the interior. It's kind of like outside even though you're inside, mm. like everything's open, it's got these really nice wooden features, it looks so so nice. Yeah. So we've ordered our dinner and guys, we've got chicken curry curry. I've never had chicken curry curry. I've never seen chicken curry curry in any menu ever in the Philippines. And funnily enough, I've always said to you, <laughs> I'd love to have a chicken curry curry and you're like, that's weird. But here we are having chicken curry curry. I'm so excited to try it, let you know how it is. Let me know if you guys have had chicken curry curry before. But yeah, I'm so excited. This place is such a vibe. We're right on the beach. You should come here during the day too. We actually saw this when we were walking along the beach to Dahican Surf Resort and that's how we saw it and decided to come back. Uh, but it looks really nice it in the day good, yeah. too. All right, guys, we had such an amazing evening last night. It was just chill. Mm. And then we've woken up to the amazing views here at Sheepy's Surfside Resort. Honestly, such, such good. You just constantly see the sea. You've got coconut trees all around, an amazing pool. And yeah, it's just really chill here. So to get here in Matty, we actually took the bus route. So we paid 315 pesos each. And it's meant to take four hours apparently, but for us, it took six hours. Yeah, Mati has been amazing. It's literally so chill. It's a mix of La Union and Chargao and 
make sure to get a bike actually make sure to rent one because mm. it's so worth it just biking around and you see all these hundreds of coconut trees it's just so chill yeah it's definitely worth getting a motorbike we'll leave the contact in the description i think it was called matty city car rental yeah kind of <laughs> and so yeah it's 400 for 12 hours 800 for 24 hours but i'm sure if you've got it for a few days you might get a deal on it yeah. uh but yeah we've had such a good time guys we highly recommend you check out matty but we are going to end the video here so make sure to like share subscribe and leave a comment down below and we'll see you in the next one peace bye